What's going on YouTube? Here I have different knives for everyday carry. I want to show you why each, why I like each one and different things about them and different scenarios to carry them. So here I have a Milwaukee knife. It's about $52. I got it on sale at homedepot.com. This knife is probably my favorite knife. It has that flip action. It's pretty smooth. It's a two and a half inch blade. It has D2 steel and it just looks good. This is the stone wash on there. You know, not too much for a knife with good quality. I know there's other knives comparable, but I thought this was a good deal and it's something I can beat up on at work and not really care about. <clears throat> now I don't have a very expensive knife collection. That's because I tend to lose stuff working in construction. So here is a knife off of the Leatherman Free P2. I believe this is two and a half inches. It has some serrations here. And I feel like if you don't want to carry a knife alone, then finding a good multi-tool with a good blade on it will work well. I don't care if the blade has serrations or not. I know some people do. I know it's a pain to sharpen, but you know, I like the fact that you could tear or rip or have that cutting motion to really cut like bands and things like that, <clears throat> which helps me out having, you know, wood pallets come in and being able to actually cut the thick plastic. So this is one knife you may want to carry and it's cool because you have a whole bunch of other options to go with in this. Next I have a $50 Roku knife but I believe I paid $20 or $25 in like 2010 or 2009 I want to say. I believe I've had this knife but it has a glass breaker has my uh, pocket clip which I really enjoy that's one that's like a key feature I like in knives for me to carry it every day but it has a good action it's spring loaded feels good but over overall a great looking knife it probably doesn't it has 428 I'm not sure where that comes up on the scale I'm not big into different steels on blade so there's that great great knife it's I believe three and a half. Let's see. Yeah, it's about three and a half inch blade, and the handle is about four inches. So I like just, you know, the feel of having a full size knife is always better than having one of these smaller knives. But I feel like the smaller knife just has the convenience factor to it. And I believe you could actually still buy this today. I just saw one in the store the other day. So here's a SOG Sente 2. This is for like putting in, you know, my wallet or small areas that I want to knife in. Nothing special about this knife. It's $15. It was not sharp coming out of the box. But I just like the convenience of how slim and small this knife is. And plus it doesn't look too bad for being as cheap as it was. Here I have a small gas station knife. This is out the front. This is my only out the front knife. That's because I'm not too much of a fan of carrying this knife unless it's in my everyday carry wallet. Which has an elastic band which it can go into. I feel like working construction... You're just bouncing around off things, up things, and, you know, I don't want to accidentally stab my leg at work because they're going to be like, why do you have that knife in your pocket? But cool knife, and it's kind of fun to go like this. I know this isn't, uh, what's a Microtech or whatever that expensive knife company is, but I feel like it feels just the same. Probably doesn't have the best quality blade this says 440 stainless and it was made in China so I think it's a cool little knife you know you probably get this for 10 bucks at a gas station <clears throat> here's a 
here I got my smallest so-called knife. This is on a Gerber dime. The blade is about one and a half inches, maybe a little bit shorter than that. But this is nothing major. Probably cut you open a bag of chips or something. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't think you'd really be able to do too much with this. But it's just cool form factor, especially this. You could put this on a keychain and not even second guess this tool. So I feel like, you know, if you need a keychain knife, this is a great option to get. And this was twenty dollars, and I feel like it's well worth it especially with all the features on there. Here is a outdoor edge. This is a razor blade. And I wish it showed more of the blade, but it doesn't. I believe it only shows maybe, what, half an inch or so. But if you are the razor blade type and want something small and compact, does have a flat head and a screwdriver on it and a pocket clip. I know there's some smaller form factor ones where it's like a skeleton, skeletal version of it. But, you know, I didn't want to order that one on Amazon, so I bought this. I did have the Milwaukee razor blade, but I lost that at work, so I got this instead. The only bad thing is I feel like the blade can come out easily with this being the release button and also the amount of blade you actually get on this but thanks for watching this video this is just some knives i have but make sure to hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys later